In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to find free use fonts, import them into Procreate, use them, and then if you decide you don't like them or if you're just getting too many, uh, I'll show you how to delete them as well. And I'm not going to show you this uh, piece here because this is actually quite involved and I have a whole class on using fonts and making all sorts of really cool designs with your fonts. But um, I do like to show people how to uh, grab free fonts. I only use free fonts because I don't want to keep track of which ones I'm allowed to use commercially and not, so I always make sure it's commercial. My name is Jennifer Nichols and I teach Procreate. I have dozens of classes and a membership. I've been teaching since 2019 and I'm having a blast. Check the link below for information about my membership and private community and I hope to see you there. Let's go ahead and get started. So there's a lot of free use font websites out there. I like fontspace.com. You can sort based on free use. Unfortunately, it's a little buggy right here. The commercial use button doesn't show up until you start kind of searching around. And right here you can type in some letters. Um, I like to type in like a capital letter and a lowercase letter, but also some numbers and some symbols that are used a lot, like question mark, exclamation mark, because some fonts don't have these things, comma, um, colon, things like that. How about quote marks. <laughs> so you can see here that the example of that font switched to what I have typed up here. So if something doesn't have those symbols, for example, or maybe the numbers, then it won't show up here. So you can see here, this says, it also shows that the capital A and the lowercase a look the same, whereas this one, it shows bigger and smaller, but still sort of capital looking. I'm not sure what <laughs> that's all about, but here we have one, two, three, and then there's no at symbol. Um, and then it has the other symbols that I wanted. This one doesn't have any of the symbols. I'm not gonna download the ones that don't have the symbols because um, I use symbols. So I'm not gonna try to mess with that. So that's good to know. Over here, you can see personal use free. So I avoid personal use because I'm using them in my classes and things like that. So you make your own decisions there. And up here, you can search on styles and all sorts of things, different categories. So um, let's just do fun font styles. Oh, these are just whimsical. How about children? Oh, I like that. It looks very handwritten. Personal use free. Okay, well, I can't use that. But now that I've started my search, I see this button now that says commercial use and I'm gonna tap it and that's going to filter. Now, this is like Pinterest where it's really a rabbit hole and you can spend probably way too much time. <laughs> so um, I really like this font. I already have it. I'm familiar with a lot of the fonts that I have. I don't have this one. It's called CDAP. Holly, I don't know. Oh, this font maker I really like. Curasan, Curasan. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Um, and theirs are usually free, but not all of them. So let's take a look. I'm going to show you what I do. I don't just download it from here. I go ahead and tap on it. And then I look down here and I really make sure, okay, it's saying free use. This is free use, personal and commercial. Sometimes the filter doesn't work so well and you end up getting to this point and it says it's only free for personal, even though you tapped the commercial option. So we can download this and it's got the symbols and it's got the letters and numbers kind of the way that I'm looking for and I'm gonna tap download. Now, depending on the browser you're using, this will look different. I'm in the Brave browser. Um, I used to use Safari and it would just pop up right here. So here it is here. And then down here, I can tap downloads right here and it'll go right to my files. But that's where this is loading. It's loading right into your files. So to find it, you can just go to your files app, wherever that is. <laughs> And here it is in recents, so that's nice. Um, but let's let me show you exactly where to find it. So you can go to on my iPad. If you have Procreate installed, you will have, pardon my mess here, you will have a Procreate folder. So go into your Procreate folder and you will have fonts. Now this 
this is only fonts that you've installed. So I'm not sure if that folder is there if you've never installed anything. So um, once you install, you'll have your fonts. And this is a recent update that they show the little preview like this. This is a really good thing uh, that Apple updated so that this preview shows um, because, you know, sometimes you end up, you know, bringing in a font and then going, you know what, I don't really like that after all. I want to get rid of that. And now you can see if you don't remember the name. Um, but yeah, so this is also where you would delete fonts and we'll get to that in a second. Um, you can sort yours how you want them sorted right here. Mine is by name. And I'm going to go back out and I'm going to look at the name of my font here. CDAP. That's right. That's right. So go back in and find, and you can maybe search up here. And there it is. So that's one way to find it or just sort it in a different way with the sort option right there. Um, when you tap it, it'll unzip, or it's supposed to. <laughs> uh, tap and hold, uncompress. So in the past, it would it would unzip if you just tapped it. So now I have a blue folder, and in that blue folder, I have this .ttf font and .otf font. They're the same. Um, sometimes there'll be multiple .ttf fonts that say italic and bold and things like that. You can go in and look at the information that the um, author provided. And um, you would just want to install one of these two. They're the same. They're just different file types. So some software needs one file type over the other. Procreate does both of these file types. If you have multiple uh, that you're trying to download, you can just split screen with Procreate and just tap and just go tap, 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 and <laughs> put multiple in all at once. Um, you can also drag and drop. Sometimes with OTF, the tap doesn't work and you have to drag and drop and hold it over here until it says it's gonna import. Now, let's go to a blank canvas and I'm gonna go to the wrench icon, add, add text. Let's say, happy day. For using fonts, if you want to change the font that you're in um, and you have the cursor there, you can kind of triple tap and get it all highlighted, but then it's all kind of hard to see because it's got the blue around it. So I like to exit and then just tap once. When you tap once, the cursor is not in there. Let me zoom in so you can see better. No cursor, which means you can not only just uh, change color and everything like that, you can also come in and change the size and the font and anything else. And you don't have to look at that blue highlight. So now I'm gonna come down to my S's and look for my font. Here it is right here. Sometimes there'll be um, other options in here like bold and italic. All right, I really like that. All right, so I can tap done. Now, one thing that you should know is every once in a while you get fonts that are not listed in the spot that they should be. Um, let me see if I still have one that's like that. I think I may have deleted it. I had one that was called like Olivia or something like that and it was up here at the top. And then every once in a while, and I don't think I have any like that anymore, Every once in a while, uh, certain fonts don't show up in this list. It's just a blank. It's there, but it, it won't show here. It just shows a blank. So if you know the name of it and you know, you know, alphabetically it, it should be in this one spot and it's showing blank, go ahead and select it. Once you've selected it, you can double check by tapping here and it will show up here. So that's one way to make sure it's the font you think it is. But those, that's a couple little buggy things. All right, so you can exit. Once you have this um, formatted the way you want it, like you, you don't want it on two lines and things like that, you can use the arrow tool to increase the size or decrease the size, and that does change the font size. So that's nice. Pardon my dog, he's tiptoeing around with <laughs> this long nails on the hard floor. Um, and that's that's just a nice way to quickly adjust. If you were to go in this way to adjust, 
it doesn't widen here, so watch what happens. So if I wanted to make it bigger this way, I would go like this, and then I'd have to go like this, right? So it's just another quick way to do it. So you can always toggle back and forth between the keyboard and the menu here. I am gonna look for a font that I don't really use or like anymore and show you how to delete a font. So now let's go ahead and talk about deleting fonts. I have this font in a few styles here. They came in separately instead of having options here for one font. And I'm never gonna use this font. I can't remember when I grabbed this font. You're not gonna be able to delete any font. You only can delete the ones that you have imported. So there's gonna be some default fonts that come with Procreate, and there's gonna be some fonts that come with your iOS, and you're stuck with those in your list, sadly. Fonts don't take up a lot of space for your storage, so don't worry too much about that. Um, if your list is long, I don't know. It's not hurting anybody. It's a good obsession. Before I talk about deleting fonts, I wanna show you this A here. This means it's still in a raster format, and that means it won't pixelate when you change the size of it. The other thing that that means is if you ever delete this font, this, when you come back into this file, it's gonna go back to a default font, and that can really mess things up for some art that you've created. So I like to rasterize, and if I have enough layers, I just duplicate, turn off the unrasterized one, and tap on one and tap rasterize, and then it's just like you hand wrote it. So I would only do that once I have it to the size I wanted and all of that stuff, but then if I delete this font like I'm about to, and I'll show you this as an example actually. So I'll turn this off and turn this on so when we come back to this file, you'll see what happens. So way down the road, I've done this many times where I've gone through and cleaned out my fonts and I'm like, I don't need that. I'm not using that anymore. And then I go in, I did it to my logo once. I had to start over finding a good font for my logo. I didn't remember the name of it. So it's a good idea to have a rasterized version just in case you end up deleting the font later, come back in and your, if you only had this version, it's gonna be gone. So I like to go back for deleting, um, go back to the fonts folder, the Procreate fonts folder. And do I have this? I have this sorted by name, um, but it isn't really. There's, <laughs> it's not alphabetical. So I don't know why. Let's do date. No, I need name. Oh, it just went back to name. Okay, I just, it, I guess it needed a reset. Now it's alphabetical. All right. I'm going to split screen. I see the font here, but let's say you don't remember the font that you want to delete. I just realized my my flaw in this plan. <laughs> so you're just going to see this. You're going to see this disappear as soon as we delete it over here. We won't have to close Procreate and open it again. Um, I need to come over here and find my list. This is what I'm trying to get to. This version, this split screen like this, where I have my list and I can just go through. It doesn't necessarily have to be anything to do with the file that you're on. I can go through and go, eh, I don't like this one anymore. And then I can come over here and delete it from here. So if you want, you can delete them one at a time. This one started with an AU. Here it is, there's three of them right there. And when you have split screen, your options are different here. So you can select multiple at the same time, but it's just kind of funny. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and tap and hold and tap delete. Tap and hold and tap delete. Tap and hold and tap delete. So I got rid of those that I don't like and I can get go through and get rid of more that I don't like as well. And it just went to a default font. So that is what I was telling you about where, I, since I don't have that font in here anymore, it went to, what did it go to? Ina 01, it always goes to that one. So that must be a Procreate default font. Sometimes you have to close Procreate and open it again to make sure that the fonts that you deleted are removed from this list. So closing it just means swiping it like that, but then also slow swipe up and go like that. 
and then reopen it. All right, thank you for watching and I hope that helped. Uh, make sure that you use free use fonts if you're going to post them online and sell your art with those fonts and um, make sure you read the fine print and use them appropriately or pay for your fonts if you want to get paid ones and be able to use those commercially as well. Join me in my membership if you're interested in learning a ton more and all sorts of fun with fonts like this. And I hope to see you there. There's a link below as well as a link to sign up for my newsletter where you'll get a coupon code to sign up for my membership. Bye.